Hey everybody, it's Ivy, and today I'm going to show you how to get completely white hair. Um, the wig, everything is under 50 bucks. I've been wanting to try out like silver, white, icy hair for a minute. So I want to show you guys how to get this look and this color on a budget because this can be a pretty expensive style. If you guys are interested in seeing how I did this look, keep on watching. Okay guys, so I have this. $50 unit <laughs> and what I'm gonna do is cut it and I'm also gonna tone it um I seen another person here on YouTube recommend this to tone synthetic hair uh, this is the unit and to me for this to be a synthetic unit I honestly can't even tell like it's synthetic the quality of the hair is very nice and this is the quality of the lace and honestly you guys it fits my head like perfectly so the cut that I want to do is really simple. I just want to make it, um, I don't want this to be bob style. I want my unit to be, uh, so I'm just going to cut it, you know, just so it's nice and blunt. I can't wait to tone this. I really hope it comes out the tone that I would like because I've been really wanting like some whitish platinum hair. But I am going to cut this on my mannequin head using some um clippers okay so i'm gonna go ahead and take this off and don't worry you guys everything i used today will be linked below the wig will be linked below synthetic units have come a long way i don't know what type of fiber they're using but this is this look like human hair Right here I have a bowl of water. It's hot water. And I'm gonna go ahead and add these um, drops in here. You guys, I honestly don't remember how much it's supposed to go in. So, I mean, I don't know. I guess YOLO, I don't, I don't know. Okay, and I'm guessing it's making a purple bath. And now we're just gonna dump our unit in there. Hopefully it doesn't turn purple. So we got the whole unit in. Wow, that worked pretty fast, all right? That works pretty fast. So all I have to do now is um, shampoo and condition it and I'll be right back. So we completed the wig. Um, this is how it looks once I toned it. Take it off of here. It's this really pretty like white blonde color and I love it so much. And this is how it looks also after I cut it. I am gonna um, go in and put a little bit of bump into it. I'm gonna um, link below some alternatives to use. You can use any um, synthetic fabric color that's purple to tone uh, your blonde synthetic unit. Well, as you guys can see, all of my hair is back and yes, I have in super old braids. <laughs> and I'm gonna um, put on my wig grip. So because this is a synthetic unit um, and I can't tone my knots the way I usually do, I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I do. But before installing my wig, this is what the inside looks like. That synthetic color really, um, <laughs> got on the cap of the wig but that's okay i did hook um, my wig to the last little latch in the back so it's nice and fitted i'm gonna go in and apply foundation to the um, underside of the lace area and i'm using i'm using my sephora um, airbrush foundation you shouldn't need too much of this product just enough i've applied foundation now i'm just gonna put on the wig and as you guys can see we have some staining which is one of the only reasons I hate um, using foundation on my lace. And this is what the parting area looks like. Um, what I'm gonna do is go in and um, cut the lace just to clean up the hair 
I'm going to use a, um, a piece of paper towel and some uh, alcohol and I'm just going to wipe. I did have to take my unit off and clean off um, the makeup. So make sure when you apply your makeup, you spray it. Like if you use the airbrush, spray it to the brush and then paint it on the hair. I was happy I was able to save uh, my unit. So, um, so I do have a lower hairline. So what I like to do is I just pull my unit down a little bit. I'm gonna um, start removing hair. I'm just gonna start plucking the hair until it until i reach like my desired look and i would say these units come with a nice amount of a uh, parting space I'm only gonna pluck from like here to here. I'm not gonna worry about the size of the wig because um, I'm not gonna be wearing this off of my face. As you guys can see, it's already starting to look a bit more natural. So just keep plucking. So I'm gonna tack this down really fast using my um, EBN Wonder Lace Bond. I'm just gonna spray a little bit and um, seal it in place with my dryer. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna do like just a little bit of baby hair, not too much. Okay, you guys, so we are done and putting it on. And as you guys can see, the wig looks really cute, you guys. Like, it has really good parting area. And I'm gonna use my blow dryer just to get everything um, in place. So to recurl the unit, I'm gonna use um, my dryer brush. And that's just gonna um, give it a nice little bump. Okay, you guys, so I used my um, hot airbrush just to bump it. I feel like this was the best, I feel like this was the best um, method to getting the synthetic hair bumped. I wish I had this unit longer, but you guys, it is so smooth. I really wanna attempt to create this look with a um, human hair unit. If you guys are interested in this wig, I will have it linked below. Also, um, the product I use to color so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i will have more affordable hair content on my channel thanks so much for watching and i will talk to you guys in the next one